Welcome back once again to Unit 3 for our discussion of writing a personal narrative. Uh, today's a pretty important day. For Lesson 3.4, we'll be choosing a topic and organizing our ideas. Our goals today for Lesson 3.4. Our I can statement says, I can choose a topic to write about for my personal narrative. And our essential question remains, what is a personal narrative? Our directions for this lesson, listen to the discussion in the video, then pause to complete each box on your worksheet when directed. If you're watching this without a worksheet and just going for tips, then of course, just continue the video. So here's kind of our big picture for today. Choosing a topic. What is your small moment? Remember that your small moment should have a big impact. So think about it for a second. In the last lesson, you narrowed it down to three topics and then you narrowed those topics down even further into moments that stood out and affect you today. So what is your small moment? Does it have any kind of impact on your life? Do you think about it frequently? And most importantly, probably would be if you remember it well, pause here and take a second to write down what your topic and your small moment will be on your paper. So our first box in brainstorming, now that we have a topic, let's expand on it and make sure that we remember it well. Who was there? For the first box, list the people that shared this experience with you. People are important to any story. And while you could write a personal narrative about something that happened while you were alone, it's probably gonna be easier if you're able to include people in it or if it had people, other people involved. So continuing brainstorming, where were you? Next, write down where you were. Try to get specific. If you can't remember this, uh, put down as many details as you can and ask somebody who might remember a little bit, you know, better than you do. Next, brainstorm when did it happen? Narrow down the time frame. What year was it or how old were you? You don't necessarily have to be exact. We don't need to know the exact day of the week it was, but just a general time frame. Did this happen five years ago or was it last week? Putting things into context will make your story make more sense. So the next one, what happened? And this is the one that we want to be the most detailed on. Now it's time to break down the events. List five things that happened during this experience. They don't all have to be big things, but this is where we're starting to flesh out our personal narrative. And this is where we confirm to ourselves that we remember enough things that happened for it that we can actually write multiple pages about this event. So our review question, do you feel like you can write a multiple page story about the topic you chose. Make sure that you remember it well. And if you do, you probably have a solid choice for your personal narrative. This concludes the video portion of lesson 3.4.